What's going on? It's Alexander here, back with some more of the adventures in the Lego Sky River Galaxy. And I think... Uh, we will go... Actually, you know, we just got this character. I'm flying into action. Boom, boom, boom. And okay, now we need a bounty hunter. Sorry, no much help with that. You want no survivors? There it is. I never leave empty handed. There we go. We'll get the rest of these, uh... One thing is then we'll start doing the character missions. Because they're almost certainly going to take us off the planet again. Okay, I know what we're, we're gonna do to get that one, so let's go get this one first. Do, 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 do. Music to my ears. And let's go and switch to another character. Let's switch to another Jedi. A Shakti. Still feel like, uh, if anything, they should have had Ahsoka over, if they're just going to go with one, should have, Ahsoka, have uh, I can't remember what the race is. Should have with Ahsoka, she's a little bit more iconic. By little, I mean a lot more iconic. Because honestly, without that little thing, I wouldn't even know who she was, well, I wouldn't remember who she was. Ahsoka, on the other hand... Great character. Like legitimately one of many people's favorites. I potentially make that jump. No. We need to go and get the ones we left over here. Oh, there they are. I'm about bet that if we turn, we brought that like over here, it would work work a little better. Actually, ah, oh, so close. We can do that though. There we go. <laughs> I knew I could cheese it to make that work. All right, what do you want? Very genius using blockade runner ship for power source. No, but Claude, for uh, worries ship power levels soon run low. Turn all lights off and send resistance into much danger panic mode. Yikes. Lucky, uh, lucky for all, Claude has an even more genius plan to get better, more powerful powers. Powers involve many danger, though, so Claude need every helping uh, he can get. Please be helping, Claude. Sure. 
Supers. Genius plan is to use state of art patented claw technology to scoop up many lightning bolts from scary Exegol planet for super limited energy power. Claw go on ahead to spooky Exegol to set up equipment. Explain rest later. Hurry to follow and meet Claude there. Yep, leaving the planet, as I thought. <laughs> You know, I just thought of something I'm going to try uh, next time we get a leave planet mission. Because I'm going to see if we can accept many of them and then leave and then go back later, you know? The way we have, uh, we, we can like cut down on the back and forth, back and forth. We just go get one, go get the other, go get the other, then go back, you know? Complete them all, just boom, boom, boom. I literally just thought of that. Made it to Creepy Exegol. Claude sees Claude just finished final touches on Genius Device. But Claude's little flipper flaps not able to work yet, which is which is where Glamorous Assistant comes in. See Lightning Zap ground over there. Must quickly carefully slide Device in a position where Lightning Zap strike. Then boom! Device slurp up much Lightning power into Device batteries. Claude has catch. Need many zaps to power batteries full, and energy will drain over time until they are completely fully full. So fast work. No. Let's bring it over here. Work now. Nope. Okay. That means we actually have to be holding it. Yep. Okay. I see. back over there first. you go. Claude's battery is now full to bursting. Bram with Mega Lightning Zap Power. Good job. Now to box up device for simple task of transporting back to Agin Claude. Is it Claude or does battery power give off eerie alluring aura? Aura. I hope it not attract unwanted attention on carefree journey home. Be a crazy times for Claude. Maybe Claude go on ahead and let Glamour Assistant transport batteries. Just as safety precaution. Claude not handle well with high pressuring situations. See back at base. Of course it's one of the of these. I thought these were cool at first, but these kind of wear on my patience. I started wearing on my patience very quickly. Because there's so many of them. I mean, y'all should really be used to it at this point.
There we go. So was it so many of the of these type of missions, it wouldn't be as bad. They'd still be fun, but like it seems like every single area. I reckon this is it. I mean every single area seems to have several of these. I say several, like one or two. There's a lot of areas. It's like even the space ones have them. Like almost every planet has them. There we go, and there we go. Time for round three. Maybe they were just like a little bit more difficult in a way. Like maybe you could like get an extra reward or something from it, you know? Like letting the difficulty ramp up. But like this other space battles are like loads more difficult than that is. I remember there was a uh, one space battle. Which one was it? Which one was there? There was one that was like pretty rough, but now that because there was like a bunch of the enemies and whatnot, like that one was fun. Oh, Claude's faithful assistant returns unscathed. As can see, Claude takes liberty of unloading device and is already performing stress tests. The latest video game console so far good. Initial test show scary lightning power may in fact be near unlimited and last a thousand years. Future holds more gaming and less straining for Claude. Many much thank you, friend. Bet. Is that all? Ah. Okay. You seen eighty? Eighty four M? I told him to fetch me some Vexus snake oil. Yeah, I know it doesn't exist, but we like pranking him to see what links he'll go to serve the resistance. <laughs> He's good. Hey, it ain't like there's much else to do around here for fun. But he has been gone a while now, and I'm starting to worry. Could you find him and check he's all right? That Vexus snake oil I sent Aidy to get is said to be on Pisana, but it's gotta be a myth. There's been no record of the stuff for centuries. Go make sure AD hasn't got himself in trouble with a Vexus or something, will ya? Oh, cells droid. Mission accepted. Okay, this will be able to check out what I was thinking here. Okay. So yeah, we can't. Looks looks like it's that's a no go. Which stinks because that would make these a little bit more bearable. Be able to accept many of these missions all in one go.
Let's go find... The missing droid. You're looking for a droid, almost asking where to find Snake Oil. I told him to forget that Snake was following and the festivities instead. I hope he heeded my advice. Okay. He said dancing droid over there? He puts our dancing bits to shame, but, uh, by which I mean he brings great shame on the festival, but he's so funky, I'm conflicted. Over there. There you are. You may want to step back, civilian. I'm about to execute dance protocol 94129, more colloquially known as the worm. Oh, Master Prince sent you? I found that snake oil he wanted, but the snake he assured me wasn't a threat sure looked threatening. I lived to serve, but my survival protocol kicked in, and I got out of there quicker than a womp rat out of an exhaust port. Then, I came across this funky festival. The flasks of snake oil should still be in the cave. Could you grab them and take them to Master Prince? I don't want to let him down, but it seems dancing is my primary function now. Let's get disorganized. Okay. If it leads to another boss fight, I'm down. Apparently. Hope you don't get raided on the way. Hey, quick heads up. Watch where you're walking. I'm not the first droid that got deployed here. Alright, let's go find that snake oil. We find blasts of icky stuff just lying around. It's a good day to be a pirate. Are you sure about that? Since we're here. Protocol droid must split themselves in two for maintenance, which leaves us vulnerable to being tossed up to high places. My partner T4. Whatever. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. The last three. My trusty backup courier here with the goods. That snake oil is gonna make these ships sing, my friend. Oh, sure wish 80 was here so I could thank him. 
Or am I? I mean, I am. Oh, Haiti, you're here! But they said... I am back to reap the rewards of my hilarious prank. I'm as only pretending to shirk my responsibilities and waste the valuable time of our helpful friends here. Of course, how could I be so blind? Our pranking put you in danger and wasted your time. So in return, you did the same to us. Wow, that's a pretty poignant prank, Aidy. I got some serious thinking to do. Yes, the lesson you seem to have learned was totally intentional. Friend, I'm sorry you got dragged into all this. Both me and Aidy will make it up to you by offering our services. Master Prin, is the offer of eternal servitude to this stranger another prank? I think I need the concept of pranking explained to me again. Well, at least I know they're wasting their time. Anyways, I'm going to end this here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.